بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ناؤ وی ویل سٹڈی اباؤٹ دی ٹیسٹنگ آف ہائپوتیسس کنسرننگ پروپورشنز بیفور دیس وی ہیو ڈن دی ٹیسٹنگ آف ہائپوتیسس فور مین اینڈ سٹینڈر ڈیویشن اور ویریئنسز فور ون پاپولیشن اینڈ ٹو پاپولیشنز اینڈ دیس ٹیسٹنگ آف ہائپوتیسس ریلیٹڈ ٹو دی population parameter P. You know that the P is the parameter of the binomial distribution. N and P. Binomial distribution you have used in probability. Binomial distribution has two parameters P and N. N is the number of trials. P is the probability of success. So with the help of ratio or percentage of the sample data we will estimate or test the population parameter p and if you, you know that if the outcome of any variable is two outcomes are two for example success failure pass fail yes no true false survive die improve unimprove 0, 1, etc. The variable is called binomial variable. So for binomial variable, we use the binomial property distribution for probability same as for testing of hypothesis. We will test the binomial parameter in this testing of hypothesis concerning proportions. We will test the hypothesis about the proportion ratio a binomial parameter P. So in this case we consider, this is the definition of this topic, in this case we consider the problem of testing of hypothesis that the proportion part of successes P is the probability of success in a binomial experiment equals some specified value. So if the probability of successes is given or is given means with the help of total outcome we will estimate the property of success and then we will test the population parameter. You know that in testing of hypothesis for mean, population mean we use the sample mean. In testing of hypothesis for variance, population variance, we use the standard deviation, sample standard deviation, sample variance and in confidence interval we estimate the population parameter of in mean we estimate mu in standard deviation and variance we estimate the lower and upper value of the sigma and sigma square. Same as here in this case we consider the problem of testing of hypothesis proportion of success the proportion of the success not failure in a binomial experiment equals some specified value that is we test the null hypothesis H0 that P is equal to P0 in mean we write mu is equal to mu0 in standard deviation we write sigma is equal to sigma0 the same as here P is equal to P0 P0 is the value of this P okay parameter is proportion, proportion of success P, where P is the parameter of the binomial distribution. Okay, I have already explained this. So these steps for testing of hypothesis about a population proportion, same as the mean and variance standard deviation, we test for population, pro, population parameter with the help of sample statistic. So using the normal approximation R as follows. You know that in the case of binomial property distribution when the value of n is large more than 20, p is more than 0 0.05, we apply the normal distribution. We use the normal approximation. The same as here in this testing of hypothesis, sample sizes are large and p is more than 0 0.05. This is the assumption for this testing of hypothesis. So we will use the normal approximation 
formula of the normal distribution. So first step null hypothesis, we will there are six steps same as the previous mean and standard deviation p is equal to mean p naught alternate hypothesis will be p naught is equal to p naught or maybe p less than p naught or more than p naught. Third step same alpha is equal to maybe 0 0.05 or 0 0.01 etc. Fourth step test statistic test statistic z is equal to p estimated value. This p estimated means we will estimate with the help of sample. This is the formula of the p cap p hat p cap or p hat represent the estimated value. For estimation, estimated we use the this hat, read as this hat or cap minus p naught this value divided by under root p naught q naught upon n and in mean we write here sample mean, so this is the sample proportion x upon n, x is the number of success and total number of sample size, where x is the number of successes in a sample of size n. So, this is the sample proportion, this is the population. In mean we write as x bar minus mu, mu naught, divided by sigma upon root n, sigma is the standard deviation. And you know that the standard deviation of the binomial distribution is under root n p q n p q under root. So, under root n p q divided by n if you simplify under root n will be cancelled in denominator will be under root n. Okay. So, p cap minus p naught upon under root p naught q naught upon n and what is this q naught? q0 read as q0. Know that is the property of the binomial distribution sum of the probability of success and failure equal to 1 p plus q is equal to 1. So, from this you can find the value of q0 will be equal to 1 minus p0 and z is the standard normal variable. Okay. Next step critical region same as the testing of hypothesis for mean, one population mean but in this we will consider the alternate hypothesis p naught equal to p naught in mean we consider mu is equal to mu naught and the table value will be represented by same as previous mean alpha 0.2 for two tail test. So, this z is a calculated value this is the table value we will obtain from table for left hand side if the alternate is not equal to left hand side will be negative right hand side positive the diagram is same same as second option and third option. But we consider this alternate hypothesis and last step conclusion same as the previous if the calculated value lies in the critical region we reject the null, null hypothesis H naught otherwise accept the null hypothesis. Now confidence interval of same condition same testing of hypothesis confidence interval for proportion p so, instead of mu we will write here p instead of x bar we will write p hat or p cap minus that alpha upon 2 under root p cap q cap upon n same as right hand side with plus sign. So, if p cap is the proportion of successes in the random sample of size n and q cap is 1 minus p cap an approximate 1 minus alpha 100 percent confidence interval for the binomial parameter p is given by. We will estimate the lower and upper value the objective is same same as the mean and standard deviation we find the lower and upper acceptable value. Okay. Now, we will solve the question 200 persons this is the n were attacked by COVID-19 and only 18 were died. Test the hypothesis that the survival rate if attacked by this disease is at least 95 percent. Use 5 percent level of significance 
also construct the 95 percent confidence interval for binomial parameter p or simply you can say for p so how you can say about this question either this is related to the proportion or mean or standard deviation etc so this word 95 percent at least 95 percent the survival rate is 95 percent in percentage if the value is given in mean and test the hypothesis for mean we apply the testing of hypothesis for mean population mean if the value of sigma or sigma square standard deviation and variance is given or known we apply the method of the testing of hypothesis for population variance or standard deviation so in this the percentage probability or proportion is given 95 percent so test the hypothesis that the survival rate if attacked by this disease is at least 95 percent mean standard deviation is not given has the value of the proportion or percentage is given percentage and proportion and probability is same thing proportion means the part of the total percentage mean maximum percentage will be 100 minimum 0 so this is the 95 percent or you can say this is the probability in term of probability will be equal to 0 0.95 okay so this indicate the value of the proportion or percentage is given and the outcome of the variable are to survive or die survival rate and died 200 person were attacked by covid 19 and only 18 were died the person may be died or survive improve or unimprove this indicate this is the binomial variable outcomes are two yes or no true for success failure pass fail okay so if suppose this statement is not given in the question you find the probability of 50 survive in same question so we will apply the formula of the probability distribution binomial property distribution if instead of this percentage mean is given or standard deviation is given then we will use the testing of hypothesis for mean or standard deviation etc so each word is most important data is most important then you can decide either the statement represent the testing of hypothesis for mean or testing of hypothesis for variance or testing of hypothesis for proportion or question related to the uh, property distributions etc so 200 person n is the 200 were attacked by covid 19 and only 18 were died and died means this is the failure x represents the success out of 218 died means 182 survive so p proportion population proportion or parameter value binomial parameter p this represents the success the success rate is 182 out of 200.91 Test the hypothesis that the survival rate if attacked by the disease at least means greater than equal to null hypothesis test the hypothesis represent the null hypothesis I have explained many times is at least means greater than equal to you have used in probability 95 percent means 0.95 alternate is not given this is the parallel set above the null hypothesis will be equal to less than alpha is given 5 percent level of significance so p cap substitute here in formula of the testing of hypothesis for proportion p cap minus p naught p cap is the 0.91 this is the p naught 0.95 divided by p naught 0.95 subtract 0.95 from 1 you will obtain q naught 0.05 divided by n simplify you will obtain minus 2.60 now critical region less than alternate is less than we will select this or choose this 
minus z alpha find alpha is equal to 0 0.05 table value from the normal distribution table same as mean you have used many times value is minus 1.645 so this value minus 1.645 this is a minus 2.60 lies in the rejected region minus 1.645 this is the table value more than this but this is the negative value so this minus 260 is less than minus 1.645 greater than negative value is the less value so conclusion is reject H naught and conclude that this survival rate is less than 95 percent reject the H naught reject this H naught we always test the null hypothesis reject H naught means the survival rate is at least 95 percent we are rejecting means less than 0 0.95 for 0.95 percent so you can say the survival rate is less than 95 percent okay now we will construct the confidence interval for same question 95 percent confidence interval for binomial parameter p substitute the value p cap 0.91 this is the table value minus 1.96 p naught Q naught upon 200. Okay, apply the formula of the confidence interval. So, and then simplify this term. You will obtain this value multiply by this 0 0.04. Subtract from this minus 87. Same as right hand side. Add in this value 0 0.87 and 0 0.96. So, conclusion is we are 95% confident that the proportion of survival rate this is a proportion of the survival rate success rate lies between 0 0.87 and 0 0.96 okay so this is the testing of hypothesis for proportion or you can say the testing of hypothesis for binomial parameter p or testing of hypothesis of binomial variable and homework page number 328 solve example number 11 and page number 331 question number 1 and 2 of the testing of hypothesis and page number 273 question number 2a and question number 4 for confidence interval okay Allah Hafiz